So I, I'm going to, oh, my introduction. So, um, Nanathoyum Susan Gare, Karukwahi Nichu Petti, Athithu Funukma Ni Adam Si Pretti. My name is Susan Gare. Um, I'm Karuk. Um, I'm from the village of Athithu Funukma, or uh, uh, nowadays it, uh, the town of Happy Camp California is there. And we're on the river, and, and we feel a lot of um, sympathy, and and, and uh, I think a lot of our folks have gone to um, Standing Rock, and we're concerned about our, our water, too. Um, let's see here. Before I start talking about um, the some of the goals and objectives of this project, um, let's see here. Through through um, we have we have um, one uh, LSA partner that um, if if there's a if there's somebody from one of the tribal colleges that could use um, a partner for this uh, workshop and for the duration of the LSA meeting, see Danny Yarbrough from University of Hawaii. Um, I somehow managed to, we, we, we accepted her into this project and, and, and didn't actually assign her to a person. And so if you need someone to uh, work with, that would be terrific. Oh, excellent. Y you are? Barcine. OK. Connect at, at the next uh, break. Wonderful. <laughs> And I, I, I haven't fully formed this idea, but I've put a, um, like a sign-in sheet. If people want to meet up for dinner, um, you know, um, we can get into groups and, um, you know, and these conferences can be a big, odd place. And so um, it's nice to have people that you know that you can get together with. Um, let's see, so goals and objectives um, for this project. And I'll also point out down there at the bottom, um, there's a hashtag for the conference if anybody does Twitter. Um, it's hashtag LSA2017, which also, by the way, is the, um, what do you call that? Um, access code for the, for the wireless? Password. Oh, yes, I do, actually. So many things to think about. All the things. Slideshow. Presenter view. I like presenter view. Much better. OK. So, um, so when we thought of um, this project, we wanted to do this. We kind of pictured this. Um, project to be something that assists and makes possible um, building, um, you know, research capacity of tribal colleges and universities, um, kind of in that, in the spirit of what Karen Rice talked about in the article that um, we suggested for people to read. Um, um, you know, going from being the subjects of somebody's linguistic research to, um, driving, you know, what kind of research do we need in our own communities? Um, broadening participation um, in language sciences, including linguistics. Um, but we also, in thinking of this, realize, and, and from experience, that that not only do, do we need to learn about linguistics, but linguistics needs to learn about us. And how can, how, you know, we need to learn how linguists can support um, language research and revitalization goals. Um, and um, also training uh, linguistics graduate students in best practices in um, ethical, tribal, and academic um, partnerships. Um, there have been some wonderful examples and some horrible warnings out there, and, and we'd like to um, encourage the, the, the wonderful examples. Um, some other things that we really thought about that we wanted to um, make possible and to bring about. Um, 
thinking about how to bring linguistics as needed into, into tribal college curriculum. Um, it's, you know, I, it's funny, I was reading um, Peggy, is Peggy Spees here? Yes, wonderful. I, I was reading through your article and, and, and I think the bit about, the parts about um, maybe not needing linguists and linguistics. Um, and, if, and if your um, language has already, you know, been written about by linguists, it's always good to, you know, be able to read what, you know, what they've said. Um, yes, yeah, so I was thinking about that. Um, but also to um, increase professional development and, and, and a variety of resources. And, and there's a resource list that we've started that's in, your, in the blue folders. And we see that as something that um, has a lot of room to grow. Um, and, and most of all, I think we really wanted to um, foster collaborations between um, TCUs and um, university, research universities, um, and ideally to, to look at strategies that can be adopted by other social sciences and pulling in um, um, also STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, and then uh, one, thi one thing I'll admit is that I, um, I um, come to this project as um, a Karuk person who um, has worked on my own language, who's worked with linguists. Um, I haven't worked so much with tribal colleges other than through Colang, which is a, um, something you'll, you'll hear talk about uh, later, the Institute for Collaborative Language Research. Um, but I wanted to take a moment to um, maybe tell a bit of, of my story and, um, the, and the linguists that we worked with. Um, so in the, in the background there, um, oh, so from left to right, it's Terry Sapahan, who is a um, uh, learner and, and teacher of Karuk. Um, uh, William Bright, who was a linguist that worked on Karuk um, from what when he was uh, a graduate student at UC Berkeley at 21 years of age and till his passing in 2006. Um, and then myself and then another, and then one of our elders, um, Vina Smith, Ayuana. Um, so Bill was, I, I kind of feel like, um, like one of the really good examples of like a really happy partnership between um, linguists and language. Um, and this is before we even thought of, people really thought much about um, partnerships. Um, but uh, he, was, he was like very good with the language for one thing. And then very sort of, I think the things that people liked about him was that he would speak in the language but that he also was not proprietary about his work and he shared everything with us. Um, uh, and he, if we had an idea of something we wanted to do in language, he, he never said, no, that's a ridiculous idea. Um, he just started in and um, would see how things ended up. Um, when we got a grant from ANA to do a dictionary, he not only said, here, take my, you know, texts and dictionary and, and slurp it all into your, into your lexicon or into your dictionary. He said, I will, I will volunteer, like, my time, you know, to add new words, to go through my files and, and records and, and put in an incredible amount of work. Um, in fact, when he became ill, um, I was approached by our vice chairman who said, um, now we, we need to do something for Bill. We need to do something very big. Um, and, 
And I went home and thought about it and came back and said, um, you know, sometimes people who have accomplished extraordinary things, you know, we, make, we could make them an, an honorary member and everybody just said yes, you know, he's, he's one of us. Um, so, I mean, that, I don't know, for me it was a very good example and I wonder if this is gonna show the rest of my thing. Um, and also what time it is. I don't wanna go over. Um, so one of the things that Bill encouraged me to do was to, um, like, or helped me with doing, was to go to um, graduate school and study linguistics myself. Um, and when I thought of the idea of going, it was so that um, not everyone else in my community had to go and do that. I wanted to uh, be able to read what he had written about our language. Um, and there were things that, um, I mean, not only linguistics was, was something that I needed to, to help work on our language, and, and, but also um, computer science or computer technology use. Um, also um, botany and, um, you know, science work through identifying and, and describing for a dictionary the, um, the animals, but also assembling a cultural knowledge about, you know, describing something for the dictionary. Um, so there was a lot of people and um, been very lucky to work with good people and wanted to um, make, help make that possible for other uh, languages as well.